an opening statement? Uh, yeah, really pleased with um, pleased with the effort. Hated losing. Hated losing 48-3. Grateful to Coach Smart. We had a conversation uh, midway through the third quarter through some people about uh, just taking care of the kids, keeping them healthy. So grateful to Coach Smart for that. How he handled it. How he handled it. Most important thing for both teams when when the score gets to that point is um, the health of both teams and wanting Georgia to be healthy so they can make a run at the national championship and wanting us to be healthy so um, we can make a run in our conference at FCS. Questions? I got to ask, why go for the field goal at the end? Um, wanted to get points on the board, wanted to get something positive um, out of the game, wanted to execute that. We're going to need that at some point to win a football game. So um, as bad as it probably looked to everybody else, it's important for Tennessee Tech to score some points there. Was there anything about this Georgia team that surprised you? Um, seeing the size in person, and that's that's the most impressive football team I've seen in person. And I'm, I've been at FBS, I've seen SEC teams. It's size, how well coached they are. Uh, I said earlier this week, I think Kirby Smart is the best coach in college football now. Uh, I think he's, with Nick Saban retiring, I think he's the voice of college football. He's the one that, Coaches need to look at to emulate. You watch how he runs his program. You watch the sideline, how professional everything is from the way he is, the assistant coaches, the managers, trainers, equipment, everybody is just very detailed. And that's, that's the type of program we're trying to build at Tennessee Tech in terms of our level of, of professionalism and, and efficiency. So very much wish Georgia well. I want those guys to do well this year. Talk about the fight the guys had today against the number one team in the country. Yeah, that was, uh, you know, it was like the bully on the schoolyard going against the, uh, the little kid, you know. And the little kid is uh, really just, just trying to get out of there and go home at some point. That's, that's just an incredible mismatch in terms of size, in terms of the caliber of what they have. And then you look at our players, and we had some incredible moments today. We had a, we had a 13 play drive on offense. I'm pretty sure Clemson didn't have a 13 play drive last year. We had one drive on defense that just impressed the heck out of me where they, they went 14 plays, 71 yards, and they had to kick a field goal. So you see the, you see the fight, you see the, the caliber of toughness uh, that our kids display against what, what looks to me like a, a borderline NFL team with, with the way that the separation now between the P4, FCS, Group of Five, it, it's just insurmountable. Um, I'm watching Indiana beat Western Illinois 77 to three last night. I'm watching Ole Miss beat Furman 76 to nothing last week. So relatively losing 48 to three, it doesn't look as bad. But the gap now with the collective is just—it's so so far than from what I saw 31 years ago when I got into coaching. Um, hopefully, we can get this thing fixed here in the next couple of years. I think looking at your roster, one thing that sticks out is amount, the amount of players from the state of Georgia. When you look at the players that you have that are from the state, mm. what do you get out of those guys? Yeah, I'm impressed with Georgia football. Um, I've only been here 10 months, but that's certainly an emphasis for us is recruit Tennessee well and, and recruit Georgia well, um, especially the linemen. The linemen in the state of Georgia are, are elite. Um, we have some really good players that we took this year from Georgia. So, um, And you can see it on Kirby's roster when you look down through the roster, the number of Georgia players, um, how well they do recruiting and developing high school players. You don't see that a lot now uh, in college football. Our roster right now is 111, 56 return, 55 new, 32 from the portal. And certainly don't want to do that every year. Uh, we'd like to eventually be like Georgia in terms of recruiting and developing high school players. I think Kirby does as good as anybody in the country at that. And Georgia's got great football. Thanks, Coach. The open week comes at a great time for you. Get, kind of get a chance to get eyes re refreshed and re ready to go for how that conference play opens in two weeks. Yeah, very, very excited to have a bye. These guys deserve it. We've been going now for 42 straight days. and. We'll take some days off, and then it's 70 straight days with seven games that um, we'll run towards the end of the season. So we need it. We, we need to buy. We need some rest. We, we need to regroup as much mentally as we do physically. It doesn't matter who we play. We're 0-2 right now, and um, that eats at me. It bothers me. It bothers them. So 
regroup physically and mentally and then just get after the next FCS game we play. Any other questions? Thanks, Thank you all. Appreciate you. Thank you. Have a good year. Take good care of Coach Smart.